up everybody I don't know which one I want to wear today that's where I'm both so I've made some very interesting um, jigs here this is magnetic magnetizing experiments all right number whatever I don't know right here so this is what I've got I've made these jigs to try to find out whether or not this is going to perform the way that I think it should so I have two of these blocks okay this is for magnetizing in the long way and then this is for magnetizing in the axial or the uh, the other way I mean not the axial this is for the axial um, so anyway so those are my jigs these are just cold rolled steel all right machine to fit inside the uh, test jig And um, they will be like this, all right, when I'm actually magnetizing it. Now, the goal um, for this right now, all right, the goal for this is I want to know if the iron, cold rolled steel, all right, I want to know if this will direct the flux and concentrate it more into a focus point. And um, if it does, um, does it help the level of energy that I need to put into this to get this to magnetize to the full potential? I'm going to graph all this out and chart this out, but that's the experiment, so let's see if it works. Okie dokie. So, that's it. The tests are over. Um, I dropped my magnet. In the process of dropping it, it broke into three pieces and uh, yeah so um, I got enough test data collected so no big deal uh, this magnet sticks together quite nicely still and I'm gonna show you the test data but we're gonna go down okay so here it is this is the data now interesting results from this one I can get it set up a little better for you. Um, so, yes indeed, to answer my question, which was, does it help if you use a core of some kind to focus the flux? Um, I've laid these side by side, so the air and the core, air and core, okay? Now, the input current and voltage uh, and power are relatively spot on, they're almost exact. Some of these numbers are zero down here because I dropped the magnet, so the value is just zero. Um, but it doesn't really matter because what happened is with 100 volts, I got a potential of, you know, let's see, uh, 1,230 gauss versus the 690 gauss with the air core. Then the next stage, look here, I'm almost at maximum potential already. All right, so with... Uh, with a voltage of 225 volts, um, basically 101 joules, which is not much power to be honest, it's very low power, I have the exact amount of, uh, or almost the full potential of my output, alright, or here it took up to uh, approximately um, 750 volts just to get the 5,000 gauss, gauss potential um, that was not the case. I could get it with a minimal voltage of uh, probably about 250 volts because this is just slightly under. So the conclusion to my experiment is yes indeed the magnetic focusing cores okay and I'm trying to figure out the best solution to get rid of the light. Hey. Anyway so the magnetic focusing core, okay, yes indeed works perfectly. Works just as it should, um, in my opinion. It focuses the flux into the end of the magnet and basically that's the importance of a core in a transformer or any other devices. It contains the magnetic field. Um, or it helps focus it into a single spot, I should say. So that's it. That's my conclusion. Successful test in my opinion. Now to test the, uh, the other method on this, which is uh, see if we can magnetize one this way with that core.
we'll have to wait and see. See you in the next round. Peace.